between now and the end of the year in the name of jesus christ if you respect and understand prophecy then receive this i'm praying for you between now and the end of the year may the god who lifts men may the god who lifts men i'm praying now particularly for your finances may god do something that surprises your finances some of you on account of what god will do from tonight you will build your house in a matter of months i say to you you will build your house in a matter of months my name is asitonka agri abba and channel is called acid darling because i'm such a darling <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel Trevor Acid Darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and to all my OGs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang now news reaching us and this is from um Gaint Brampton says the number of students from India applying for study permits to Canada dropped 40 percent in the second half of 2023 so when they do these statistics they have to do it like after it's done so basically this half it has dropped 40 percent and for me for those of you that do not know the news there were there were a lot of tensions surrounding issues between canada and um, india up to the point where india called recalled their um diplomats and told canada to take their own like proper proper tension so some people were afraid of course what will happen to their study permits those that had their visas in but canada did not do anything drastic in fact india stopped giving Can canadians visas but canada did not um, stop it however um, we can see that the numbers actually touched mainland india so the report said 40 percent decline in applications from india for study permits to canada in the second half of 2023 the figures for study permits were verified by the hindustan times from data sourced from IRUCC as Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada for the period um, from July to October. The numbers of application for new study permits from India dropped a total of 145,881 last year to just 86,562 in the same period with a decline of 40 percent guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section i know that these numbers still seem very very large um by by understanding for those of you that i want to i want to americanize this figure no when americans want to say anything about figure they say the size of a football field the size of they they kind of they don't use si units they use weird ass things so 86,000. it's like you know canaan land shiloh full to the brim is that amount like inside is fifty thousand outside overflow and all of that so those number of people were people that still entered double that amount were people that was were supposed to gain admission but you should understand that indians form a key role like in terms of the imports that canada gets from international students a lot of them are from india so um what do you think that this has i mean long term the kind of effect it will have guys let me know your thoughts i feel even from from talking and speaking interacting with um indians whether on shifts or whatever some people are really finding it difficult to match the realities some of them left school jobs some of them left like company legacies you know when parents are like there's the factory there's the this if you want to come in and all of that so coming into canada and it seems like maybe things are not gelling it's it's tough for them so you can you can understand that um, especially with the recent tensions they people were calling back home and saying you know what let us retrace our steps some people are still going to be looking at you know around can some people are definitely still going to come to canada but they are looking at other options the only kicker or will i say the only thing that affected this thing very much is of course uk with their new laws and then we have australia with the new you know um, push back it still seems like canada is the viable option else we stay back in our country especially for those that welcome like a dual or a permanent residency status understand that for indians you cannot hold a dual citizenship so if you see any indian with a canadian citizenship they do not have like indian passport they have i think the card like the residency permit card but when you 
obtain the Canadian citizenship, you have to forfeit the Indian citizenship. So that basically is it. Let me know your thoughts for the general, um, how will I put it, for study permit across other nations. Do you think that right now, um, Canada is going to like start looking at other places as the source for their inter international students' revenue? Because the truth is they make a lot of money from that. And yes, that would, that would definitely be something I want to look at. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. One of the um, comments here said they are not extending work permits. CRS score are on fire. Why should anyone invest in Canada? It's not worth it. Let me know your thoughts. And somebody commented, you're not investing in Canada. You're running from India because your country failed you. Let's be real. Um, let me see this person because sometimes the, the comments can just be weird. Apparently, this same person is, is Indian. I see, if you're Indian and you're watching this, I really want to ask this question. What is it with so much toxicity and so much vile when Indian content creators put out content? Like the, sometimes the comment section just acts like the hatred is too much. You would think that Nigerians bully. Nigerians hardly bully. Like if you if you even come to comment sections of Nigerians that are YouTubers that maybe have started speaking phone, you will just hear somebody say, hey, your accent has changed. Oh, oh shit. You know those kind of things. But Indians, oh boy, try am. Try and make your accent just they go left, just they want to sound English. They will tell you you're fake, you could leave that fake accent, remove that fake. When people stay in a place for a long time, it's possible for them to develop it. So sometimes it's very worrisome for me when I see like one of my favorite um YouTubers that I watch from here to Pikabu um exo i think she's based in toronto jesus christ see her comment section the one that is forcing her to give bets the one that says she is this the one that come on in fact there was a, the one that even bust my head was when once i think she was supposed to post every thursday or something like that and she fell ill and she put out a statement that says oh i'm ill i won't be posting this um thursday or tomorrow which was the posting date and somebody wrote when you when you put a schedule you stick to it with people you cannot waste people's time i'm like hey you can imagine the F-130 and the balls inside and she told you that she's ill. Ha. Guys, let me know your thoughts. So that aside, um, please, this I've noticed this kind of comments, like attacking type of comments. So basically, the another person commented on that, that and said, yes, let's, as in based on let's be real, I've actually moved back to India from Canada because I'm a consultant who now ends better in India. Any comments, Mr. Um told world any comments mr i'm told world but claim to be first <laughs> let me know your thought this person just wants to drag my canada say mr i'm told world but claims to be first oh my god as a point of encouragement i want to say this eh? i know that these updates are scary a part of me wants to stop giving updates but a part of me feels the need to you know inform so that uh, I don't know how I would have survived this place if I came in without information. I was informed. Maybe not holistically, but the level to which I was informed was enough for me to start on. Now, we do not know how 2024 will be. We do not know, like, it almost seemed like this year was a defining year for many things. We can only pray. I just want to encourage you, if you're um, awaiting your study visa or you're awaiting, you know, work or your work permit or your PR or whatever i just want to encourage you to keep it up you know keep up the faith if this is really what you want keep up the faith there are people that are watching this maybe you're indian maybe see shout out to my indian gang like so i've met a couple of people that literally stopped me and asked like, who is the person that always talks in front of your videos and i was like who and it was apostle joshua selman Simmons. Somebody literally said, I like to listen to that, your videos because of that intro. Like, it's always something that I can work with. You know that some of these, most of these people don't know about our type of religion. They have lots of religions. But just the fact that they are blessed by that. So, I, I want to encourage you people too. I know that um, depression hits the Indian community a lot. It hit everybody. Um, there were reports of people having to go back to their country, especially those that had um, issues, they were stranded in um, Cape 
Cape Brenton and some other universities that had issues this year. The people that fell victims of scam were still Indians. 700 people that were sent back because of IELTS scam. The other people that came here finished, graduated, PGWP, only to find out that their admission was fake. And now they don't know where to put them. And they, there are many things. Please, as much as possible, don't give up. Keep pushing. It is stressful. Will you feel sad? If you make some money and you need a breeder, enter a plane and go to India. Just rest one month, maybe two months. Eat good food. Be in, your pl be in the vibe. For me, that would be my advice. Guys, let me know your thoughts. This place can sometimes be choking. And then for those that are here hearing that, I mean, the amount of people that want to come are reducing, it almost seems like, what, what can we make out of our investment? Coming to Canada is an investment. Whether we like it or not, we spend so much money and we want to get value in academics, in uh, education, and we also want to get value in terms of the, the monies that we will get from working, being able to use those monies to pay for our accommodation, our lifestyle, you know, things that we need here, you know. That's basically it. So nobody should um, nobody should try to downplay the fact that um, coming here costs a lot of money, and it's it's very on point for you to want to do a budget estimate to see if it's worth it for you to still make this trip. Do you get? No, don't allow anybody to tell you that ah no, is Nigeria is not good. Anyhow, you just scatter yourself and come. Please have money. Please budget. You know, budget, budget, budget as much as possible. Try your best to always look at it and do not feel down because sometimes, yes, I have to stop these things and say, oh, hold on, no, I'm not discouraging you. Hold on, no, things are not always gloomy and all of that. So this is the reality on ground. A lot of people are holding off. I wouldn't say they are not coming. I would say people are holding off because they really want to get to the end of this Canada, um, India fight. Some people sincerely opened up and said they want to get to the bottom of it so that they know if they need to leave Canada and run back to India or something just escalates or whatever. I know that it will not escalate. It will still be a dip on diplomatic front. But um, let's just see. With open hearts, we welcome 2024 and um, look forward to greater and better years ahead. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that by this reduced amount of international students coming in from India, that other nationalities are going to get like increased visa approvals? Do you think that that's the effect that will happen? Or do you think that they will still maintain the same rate? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As you remember, your girl, as it, darling. If you are any of my Indian darlings, please make sure to indicate in the comments. I would truly, truly appreciate it. If you're one of um of my Indian subs, please indicate in the comment section. And um, another thing, let us know the briefing in terms of like what's the what's the um, politics on ground in terms of the issue that they had with the um punjabi singh that was um sick with the punjabi sikh that was uh, murdered so let's know what you know how the how, how are the tensions you know how are the tensions let us know your thoughts share it so that we can all learn thank you guys so much for watching and remember your girl acid darling please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys